Greetings everyone, this is Helium Lemon 15 Welcome back to my channel, or I should say, welcome back to the Factory Balls series. We are on Factory Balls 4, finally, and I actually did the commentary for these games uh, a couple weeks ago, and then I lost the files, and then I was like, shoot, I have to do it again. Um, play now! Download! Um, so yeah, this just has to load. So, uh, oh gosh, that's loud. Today... Is today. Is January 2nd, uh, January 22nd, 2019. It's almost 7 p.m. for me. And, uh, we're playing this. I'm using my kind of very unelegant, uh, screen capture software. I'm gonna keep using for a little while just because it's convenient and 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 the other notable thing is that I'm playing this off of uh, Bart's website so if you haven't heard of the uh, this guy his name is Bart Bonte his websites are bartbonte.com and uh, bontegames.com and he's a great uh, indie developer he develops games like this uh, he has a series called Me and the Key. He has some other uh, cool puzzle games uh, like uh, uh, 40 Times Escape. I think it's called um, uh, What's in the Box is another good one. Uh, Sweet Dreams and uh, Sugar Sugar and Farafala and uh, yeah, Me and the Key. And. Uh, Oh gosh, some weird game about where you have to like build a tower with a bunch of dogs. And um, yeah, I'll stop talking about uh, Bart Monte's games uh, for a little while. But yeah, I just, yeah, I just have so much respect for uh, indie developers. So that's why I keep plugging their stuff. Um, I'm going to plug Bart Bonte's stuff while I'm doing this. I uh, don't know what other indie games that <laughs> I'm going to do next are yet. But I've done that and yet it news, and I definitely have some other ones. I've definitely got a passion for indie games. Because I think of video games as an art form. And did I mess up this puzzle? Probably. So, the way I usually think of these puzzles so far, and this is still level 5, so it's still fairly easy. Um, you kind of have to do whatever... Um, uh, you have to kind of take it one step at a time. So you have to see what the first layer you're going to make is, and then protect it, and then make the second layer while the first layer remains the same. So that was not a great way of explaining it, but that was the best, uh, <laughs> I don't know. So, um... Yeah, my, uh, my second semester, my spring semester of school has started up. Um, I went back to school uh, pretty early compared to most of my other friends who are in college. But I don't mind because I have a pretty sh uh, short school year anyway. It's, it's tough, but it's short, so it's fine. Uh, whatever. Um... I'm hungry right now. Yeah, school always just makes me really tired and hungry. And I have some long breaks in, in between classes, so sometimes I wish I could do, you know, what I want to do, like, you know, record this game while I'm at school, but I don't know, I just don't think that would work. Uh, although I do find uh, places to, like, go hide on campus and play video games for a little bit. I've played uh, Desolate Hope today. I know I've talked about that game before, but I still love it. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, as of recently, because I only started playing it like uh, December 2017 or something like that. And yeah, th this game is fun. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, I've been playing a lot of Majora's Mask, and I'm having a lot of fun with that game. But that game is just like... I don't know, it's it's a little bit time-consuming or something. And I had 
uh, some footage that I, I had an episode basically all made. Um, and it was a bit of a longer episode, but it wasn't too long. The main thing is that I spent like at least two hours on my computer editing it because it was a lot of just stupidity and a lot of wandering around. Eventually I got like two pieces of heart out of it. Um, but I think my computer hated me because I was ed trying to edit so much random crap together and I had this mp3 of uh, aquatic ambience from Donkey Kong Country that I was trying to put in there. I had some mp3s of uh, different uh, Mario 64 hacks, um, soundtracks, and I was trying to put that in there and I don't know. It's just kind of an editing mess, so... Okay, so this one, yeah, you just gotta use the hat. So how's everyone doing? Uh, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I have to record this at a weird time, and I'm just tired and hungry. Um, yeah, I just have to... Uh, I feel like the food at my school cafeteria, because I, now I have to pay for food at my school cafeteria, which makes me kind of unhappy. But, um, hey, they're there, they have to make a, uh, they ha it's a job, they have to make a profit. Um, it's not, it's not very high quality food, and it's just expensive, so. I'm glad to get some food at home, but, I don't know. And yeah, I'm living on, I'm living at home while I'm going to school, just for practical reasons, and... That's what I'm doing, so, so yeah. And I have no idea what that sound is, but I'm gonna ignore it for now. Um, yeah, it's January right now. It's been super cold. Um, it probably hasn't been as cold in this part of the country as it is like further up, up north or like places like Minnesota. But it's still really cold, and it's been cold in our apartment for a while, just because, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. They probably have some issues with the uh, boiler or something, and I, I messed that up. Uh, yeah, the, I, I made the nose red by accident, so... Yeah, but our apartment has been super cold, so we've had to have the radiator going. And, and the neighbor, our upstairs neighbor, has to have his radiator on for us to get heat through the pipe or something like that. Actually, I don't really know how the cell situation in our apartment works. And I know we depend on a boiler for, you know, to have hot water and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's not like, it's this weird thing that it's like, I don't know, we're not poor, but it's just, you know, sometimes life is just tough, like, like, the weather makes you a little bit uncomfortable, and you just can't, and have to get used to it, so, yeah, I've been, and I, and the fact that I walk to school, it's just, it's just whatever, I just have to tough it out, my birthday's in a month, uh, I don't know how interesting that is, and I don't have any plans for it yet, but... Yeah. But, yeah, this... These games are fun. I don't have... The thing is, I don't have super interesting commentary for them, other than just describing how the puzzles work, but they're just... They're just so relaxing to just go and play on your own free time, and... You know, I like... I like that. I like that I have a... I like that I have a mixture of... Um like more uh, large-scale console games on this channel and then like little browser games uh, like this. I don't know. I just think it makes for an interesting collection. You get to see all this interesting stuff. Um, yeah, like like picked up on a bus will do like, you know, do a big Zelda or Mario game and then I'll do like one of those like not prawn type games or escape the room type games like mild escape 
those games, I would love to try playing a mild escape game on my channel, but they can just be so obscure sometimes. Like, I don't think I've ever been able to figure out one completely by myself. I know over the summer I was like, oh, I'm gonna play one of these, like, every day or play a couple a week or something just so that I can get good at them. Uh, because I like stuff that, you know, works my brain and gives me puzzles to figure out. Hence why I like this game and why I like Zelda games. Um, but yeah, it never worked out. I just never went through went went through with the plan. But it was a it was a bum resolution, like a New Year's resolution. Except it was just it was a bum resolution. Uh, so this one you have to the, you have to use that little. I don't even know what to call it. It's just it's a that stamp looking thing that just puts a little dot of paint paint instead of dipping the whole thing in the bucket and this guy looks like it could be just like a little baby chick or it looks like it could be cubert oh but cubert is orange uh, what does this thing look like this thing well it looks mildly like a circus tent but everything that has the stripes kind of looks like a circus tent um kind of looks like like a melon just uh, being e eaten by Mars, or by like a demon basketball. There you go, a demon, a demon like magma basketball. Oh, and why am I having trouble with this? This isn't that hard. Yeah. So then you protect the stripes. You make the middle yellow, and then you just have to put the stripe protectors on uh, over over the belt. Can you do that? Yep, okay. So there you go. That's level 19 done. Level 20 that well that could look like pepperoni. That could also just be like a, a sort of derpy looking... It could be like an egg with two really weird uh, red yolks. Or... Yeah, something. Is there somebody back here? Hello? Okay, sorry, I'm distracted because I'm hearing noises. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, I'll probably edit that out, but I'm just hearing noises back uh, here and it makes me think there's somebody. Yeah. So next time, I guess we'll have to see you at level 21 next time, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Factory Balls 4. Thanks for watching, goodbye.